Um, I'm a single mother, and I have been single quite a long time. I've been on a lot of first dates. Dates are not a problem. They usually end at first dates, third dates. In fact, I've dated at least one person here. <laughs> I know one. <laughs> okay, so we could talk about first date that I had in November uh, with Creeper. It was like, at the time, it seemed really cool because, you know, I want to get married. I want to have more children. I have an 18-month-old son. And he was just like, you're the one I've waited for my whole life. And I was just like, ah. Oh. And then he showed up the next day or something like that, like I might have were drunk. And we could talk about that. But, okay. <clears throat> and this is known between my friends, like Paulina, whatever, Paulina, um, a Jackie, one of my girlfriends here, or Paulina, you know, Paulina Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Paulina Rachel would be going on a first date, and this is what happens. So um, I go out um, to trivia with some of my friends, and I meet people, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really, I have a type. It's known. Um, a bigger guy with facial hair. Um, kind of looks like Ron Swanson. <laughs> and, I mean... And then if you have food on your face, oh, God, where are my panties? <laughs> and so it's like, ugh. Anyway, this guy was bigger. He didn't have facial hair, but he had glasses, and he was, like, touting, like, history and geography. And I was just like, ugh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And then I was talking to his friend. I was like, this is, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Anyway, so I had already had a couple of drinks, and I was probably a little obvious about it. And... Anyway, he just like randomly texts and said, this is so-and-so, I'm not going to tell any names, even though I'm like really tempted. <laughs> and, uh, hey, so this time, do you want to like meet up with us for trivia or what else do you want to do? And I'm all about it. And yeah, that sounds good. Keep it casual because y'all, I mean, I'm very social, good, you know, at, at all those things, but I suck at dating, like so bad. I like, just the thought of it gives me like, chills and I, I just clammy uh, just uh, it's awful I'd rather seriously have another c-section than go on another first date of my freaking life <laughs> and by the way I haven't really cussed that much yet I did a lot of my summer tell <laughs> so anyway um we meet up at Dempsey's again and we're sitting next to each other and we're both drinking old style it's really cool man and um he starts, you know, talking about, you know, history, and we're talking very casually, and I'm drinking a lot because I like to have fun. Again, I'm a single mom, cheap beer, <laughs> and I, I didn't eat because I'm kind of vain, and I wanted to be economical, so I really wanted a good buzz, <laughs> to being honest. <laughs> so I have a few old styles after a long day at the office and doing work. And um, I'm just like bowled over by his intellect, which I just don't care. I'm just like, show me your intelligence. And I'm just like, oh, I'm all <laughs> like this. I probably just looked really stupid. And um, anyway, so, and then he and the other group of people say they are starting a game to see who can chug beer the fastest. And the dude that I was with, you know, casually, whatevs, he chugged a beer in like 20 seconds or something, and I was like, because eh. I also have that other side of me. I'm just like, you know, you got to be real. So I did that. And I was like, okay, you want to go catch a show? And I'm all about catching a show, or do you want to go to this, you know, house party in Moorhead? And I'm, okay, I'll, I'll go to that. Why not? And by this time, I still had not eaten. I was all about it. I was like, let's just keep drinking. <laughs> so I'm almost 32, but sometimes when I go out, I still think I want to be like 21. And <laughs> want to look really cool. So I have some more drinks. My downfall is a gin and tonic. And I have some more of those. And this is pulling the Rachel. I look at him, feel a little queasy, ignore it. Don't even admit it. And the next thing you know, I'm puking on myself, right in front of him, 
right next to me. I've told this to other people, but yeah. So that's what pulling a Rachel is. On a first date, you get so nervous, and you want to be cheap, too, and <laughs> cute. And you puke on yourself. And so I was like, I was even like, afterwards, it's like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom, clean up a little bit. No, no problem. I was like, I got this, yo. No big deal. And then I, I actually, I asked him for a kiss because I thought, like, <laughs> it's like my moxie. I'm, I'm full of it. It's just like, yes, this is going to, like. And he was like, no, I think you have a little bit of, you know. <laughs> and I probably did. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as we can all expect, I, I you know, I, I then went over and I could not drive, and he and his friend gave me a drive over to my a good guy friend's house, who I used to also date, and his mother was in town. It was like Thanksgiving weekend, I think, and I was just gonna go hang out, and I ended up sleeping on his shoulder through movies, snoring. Yeah, so um, I've gotten a little bit better, but I've also sort of understood that well, that's okay. Um, it's okay to suck at first dates. I admit it. I even admit it now on first dates that I suck at it. And, you know, if they can't deal with it, you know, I'm human. So it's me.